Mawamp. I'm Alpha Sign and uh, hold on. Yeah, it's now possible to harass a poor Xbox support guy sat on the other end of a Twitter client. Send them some lols to brighten their day, will you? Where was I? Ah yeah, this is Vertical Slice. BlizzCon stomped through the weekend, leaving us with details on the next WoW expansion. Cataclysm revisits the content from Vanilla WoW and tears it a new one. Standout items are new races, fly mounts in Torn Up Azeroth, new secondary profession linked to character progression, guild levelling, the return of Raggy and Deathwing, and the cream of the crop, heroic Shadowfang Keep! Actually got this recovered WoW addict considering a relapse. It'll land in 2010, which was another bit of news. Their release schedule to be precise, not only will 2010 see Cataclysm revamp WoW, Starcraft 2 will be released. The Eagle Eyed will notice the absence of Diablo 3 from the 2010 schedule. This means we're either in for a bit of a treat round Christmas time, or D3 has slipped to 2011. From one bit of uncomfortable Blizzard news, to another. In shades of an iPhone App Store-like setup, players of StarCraft 2 will be able to set a price for maps they've created, acquirable within the game client. Plenty of questions remain about the practice. What if a game you want to join is running a paid-for map you haven't bought yet? And there's a bit of animosity brewing. First, a split into three titles, then no LAN play, and now this microtransaction leeching from creative players. Not looking good. Looking fantastic, however. This music vid celebrating the 8-bit and lower days of gaming is from Swedish band Rimdjuglage. Really sorry if I screwed that up. No idea how it's meant to be pronounced. Via the medium of Lego, took 1500 hours of work to craft. Woo! Epic! Not as epic as the story of Stargate Universe though. After a string of financial problems that almost killed off the MMO, it appears the ship is finally writing itself and getting ready for some calmer waters after getting a much needed cash injection. Continuing the theme of troubled companies, in the wake of the Midway collapse, the buyout of the London and Paris publishing offices have been successful and capped off with a rebranding to boot. They're now called Trade West Games after the ex-Midway executive VP also bought the rights to their name. The wheeling and dealing of the gaming industry can give me a headache at times, though nothing compared to the insanity that is the Flash game multitask, and I bet you thought Flash games were for casuals only. As much as a head for headache inducer as multitask may be, it doesn't compare to the one the UK government just got. Turns out the UK video games rating law, which makes it illegal to sell games to anyone younger than the BBFC rating on the box, has been invalid for 25 years, because the Conservative government at the time failed to notify the EU. Rim Dreglage. 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 Rim